So I believe it's what Jim, and I've been wanting to do this video for a while, which is ranking the Beatles cover albums. I've been looking forward to doing this, and I thought today was a good day to do it, because I'm actually having my infusion today, not last Thursday, because there wasn't a bed available for me to stay at the hospital for the night. So I want to do another video today for me to just get a bit distracted from the, the appointment that I'm having, because I'm really worried about it. So I thought we'll do a Beatles video, they always cheer me up and we'll go with ranking the, the Beatles album covers. Um, and next week or the week after, I will rank the um, Beatles studio album. Well, I'll just I'll rank the studio albums, not, not just based on their covers, which is what we're basing it on today. We're not basing it on the songs that appear on the album. And um, enough rambling and let's just get to it. You can also let me know what your favourite Beatles album cover is in the comment section below. Or you can just do your top three, top five, or rank them all, which is what I'm doing here. It's entirely up to you. And we're also going to include Yellow Submarine as well. And that being said, let's get to it with number 13. This is also on my photos, and it's the Beatles album covers. Um, and now we've gone to number 13, which for me is the Beatles White Album from 1968. I get this is a very iconic album cover, don't get me wrong, but... I don't think it's that great of what, if I'm being honest. But I don't think the actual album itself is is not great. It's just the actual cover. I absolutely love the White Album itself. But as far as the cover's concerned, it's just very, very simple. It's just a white it's just a white album with it saying the Beatles. There's nothing else to it. And um I like it like I said, I do get that it is iconic, but it's easy to get stains on it as well. And it's just it's just not that interesting to me. It's not a very eye-catching album. The only thing really eye-catching about it is the fact that it says The Beatles. Um, and I don't know, it's just... I just don't find it that, that intriguing to me. Um, and now I'll move on to my number 12, which is Beatles for Sale. Um, I, I, I don't mind this picture, I think it's okay. But all the Beatles look tired, they don't look like they want to be there, really. Um, and yeah, there's not, there's not really much to else. To really say about it it's just got a, it's just a bit more to look at than there is in the, in the white album um but I, I don't know i think the beatles were happier i might have it maybe ranked a bit higher but as it stands it's number 12 for me and number 11 i've got with the beatles uh, i forgot to say that beatles sale was from 1964 this is from 1963 um i like this one a bit more just because it's a bit more iconic um, and I don't know, I just feel like it's just a bit more intriguing, the fact that all that, that, that the Beatles are in black, black and white. Um, yeah, I, I don't know really, I just think it's, it suits, it suits the time period for me, um, early 60s, but I don't know, it's just not one that really just sticks out to me. It's not one I choose to look at or anything, but I do find it quite a good album cover, uh, def definitely an improvement from the other two for me. And number, uh, I think it's number, number 10 now. Yeah, it's number 10 now, which I'm going to choose. I've, yeah, I'm going to go with this one being Let It Be from 1970. Uh, the, re the reason why, oh, I do absolutely, I, I do love this one. Uh, this is where we get to the stage that I actually do love the album covers now. Um, I do think that all the Beatles just, I like that there's, there's, there's a different picture for each of them. Um, and, and I think each, each of the pictures of, of them are pretty good. Um, I don't know, I just like, the, just like the layout of it. I like that it's quite simplistic as well, with just there being four squares and a picture of each of the members of the Beatles in them. Um, I mean, I mean who, who can't love that George Harrison smile in the bottom right corner? Um, yeah, I absolutely, I, I just love this album cover. I don't really know why. I just find it quite just, just a cool one to look at. Um, and that's really all I've got to say for it. My number nine is The Yellow Sub Submarine. I'm not the biggest fan of the album itself, not going to lie. But I do really like the album cover. I love the artistic vibe you get from it. There's quite a lot going on. I like that it says The Beatles, Yellow, Yellow Submarine, no Nothing Is Real. It's a nice reference to Strawberry Fields Forever. Even though it doesn't appear on this album. It might, might, might appear in the film, which is what this, what this is based off. But I've never seen this film. And if I do, I'll definitely try my best and do a review for it. Um, but yeah, I do really like looking at, I do love this one. 
because I like, like there's loads of different things going on. It's just not one I, I look at too often, but every time I look at it, I, I kind of find something a bit new about it. I like to find something that I don't see there from, from the last time I looked at it. Um, I do want to number 2023 is about in, um, in the right over there, but let me, let me know if, if you know what why it, 23 is significant. Maybe it's significant to the film, but like I said, I've never seen it. So number eight, I'm going to go with Help from 1965. I forgot to mention that. Yellow Submarine, that album was from 1969, but I think the film was 1967, 68. Um, and this, this Help Beatles album, um, I absolutely love. It's very it's one of the more iconic Beatles albums, that's for, that's, that's for sure. Um, I, I, I do think that all the Beatles... They they look really cool with what they're wearing. It's very unique what they're wearing. That's that's for sure. But the the, the one problem I've got with it is the fact that the it doesn't spell the word help. It's originally going to, but it the, the actual album didn't look very good like that. Um. So I don't know. I think I would have preferred it being saying the word help. But I don't know. I think I think as it is, it is a really cool album cover, and I just like how simple it is as well. And number seven, we're going to go with Magical Mystery Tour from, uh, did I say that the help was from 1966-65? If it didn't, it's from 1965. But this is from 1967, Magical Mystery Tour. I love this, got all the names of these songs on, on the cover. Um, and I, I, I just love that there's just a lot going it's just, it's just very eye-catching. There's quite a bit going on. I, I love all the outfits each of the member of the Beatles are wearing. But one problem is it's hard to really tell which... Beetle is who. I feel like the Ringo one's quite easy to understand to get, which is that chicken one. The walrus is John. That rabbit is George, and the hippopotamus, um, is Paul. Um, but yeah, I just really do love look looking at this one. It definitely has this psychedelic vibe, which goes well with with the album, and just very very colourful, very nice to look at. And I love the logo for much for that says Magical Mystery Tour, as well. Um. Maybe they could have had it saying the Taylor Beatles, maybe not in yellow, maybe in a different colour, maybe green, it might have stood out a bit more. Number six, I'm going to choose, or choose A Hard Day's Night from 1964. Uh, I, I do love that it's, it's sort of like a film reel, and I think, I, think, I think it's meant to be a film reel. I do love all the pictures of the Beatles, there's, there's loads of different ones to look at. Um, and I, I don't know, I just, I just love how iconic it is. And I just, I just, there's just something about this one. I just, I just like it a lot. I, I, I absolutely love this one. The one problem I've got is George's is because because George is the second row for the top, um, and one what one of the pictures is his head, uh, facing the the other way around. So you, all you can see is his hair, and I'm I'm not the biggest fan of that picture personally. But there are other pictures of George that you can look at here, and they just look like they're having the time of their life in these pictures. Um, and I don't know, I just think, I, I just absolutely just love looking at, looking at, at this one. I love looking at, at the faces that they're pulling as well. Some of them are quite funny. Summer five, I've got Rubber Soul from 1965. I don't know what it is. I just absolutely just love looking at this one. Um, I mean, I'd say pretty much all of these are iconic. And I don't know, I like what they're wearing. I like what, what they're wearing as well. And I like that it's just, it looks quite unusual with the way that, that they're positioned, and I love the logo that says Rub Rubber Soul as well. And likely it doesn't say the Beatles. I think that's quite interesting. And I really like the background of, of, of the tree as well. I think it's outside John's house or something. Oh, it might 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 be a few trees. Um, I don't know, I just really, really just like this, like this one. And it just gives you sort of like a Norwegian wood sort of vibe. I don't know what it is, it just makes it feel like this, that Norwegian wood definitely, definitely belongs in this album. It just gives me Norwegian wood, this bird has flown vibes, which is the second song on this album. And my number four is The Beatles Please Please Me, their, de their debut album. I, I I just love it. I love that it's outside the studios that, that they were recording the, the songs in um, at EMI. And I, I just loved, I loved each of the members, members of The Beatles that they're smiling, they look like they're having a fun time. I like that, that the camera's going down on them. It's a very simple, very cheap one, but I don't know, I just absolutely just love, I just love it so much that this one, I like 
looking at it a lot. And it, it just makes it feel like I'm there, makes it feel like I'm the actual cameraman. Um, and that's really all I'll say for it. I just absolutely love, love this one. So my number three is Revolver. There's a lot going on. Every time I look at this, there's something different. Um, I, I, just, I just absolutely love it. It, it's, it feels like a collage, sort of, and I really, really like that. Um, I like a lot of different characters in their hairs as well. Um, the, one, the one thing I'm not 100% uh, sold on is George Harrison's lips. I'm not a big fan of the way that his lips look. Um, I would have liked them to have been drawn like, like all the other ones, but I like this in black and white, um, and I, I, just love, I just love looking at it. I just think it's a very, very in interesting one. Uh, really suits the time period that, that the Beatles were in as well. That was in 1966. Please Please Me was also in 1964. So 1963 um, for, the for the debut album. My number two um, is Abbey Road. There it is. My favourite studio album of all time. I, I absolutely just love the album cover. It's probably the most iconic one ever. I love that all the Beatles are walking in front of each front in front of each of each one another. Um I do know that it's outside their studios as well. Um I don't know I just think I just really really just love this one. Um I actually went there in the fiftieth anniversary of the album. I actually went on the crossing and that now that was really really cool. Um unfortunately I don't have a picture to show you but if if I do um I'd definitely show it at some point. I don't know when. Um uh, we'll just have to wait and see for that I guess but I just absolutely love it. I love all the different cars and stuff. I'm a big fan of the cars from the, from the 60s. And it just looks really, really, really cool. I like that Paul's wearing bare, bare feet. I don't really know why he does, why why he did. But I do find that quite interesting as well. And my number one is... Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. That's my number one. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite album cover of all time. There's a lot going on. There's loads of different celebrities, loads of different people that are uh, that really that, that are really it's inspirational to the Beatles. I also love the different items as well. Um, one of the references the Rolling Stones with that sort of doll thing. Um, and it's just it's just a very very iconic album. I've not mentioned that. I absolutely love the, the drum that says Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Arts Club Band. I love that that it says Beatles in flowers. And I love I love also what what the Beatles are wearing as well. They're my favourite outfits that they wore. And I love, love that they all, wear must, 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 they all have moustaches. That's, that's pretty cool. And um, it's just very, very eye-catching one. It's not very simple. It's not very sim simplistic. But I love, love that there's a lot going on. Every time I look at it, there's something there's something, something new. I find Albert Einstein's in it. Bob Dylan's also in it. Marilyn Mon Monroe's in it. Lauren Lo Lo Hardy are in it. Um, and the, 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 there's so many different people that you, you will recognise in the, in this picture. You probably won't, won't recognise all of them. And to be honest, I'd like, like, like to look to all the people because there are, there are so many, there's so many, so many things to look at. And that's all I'm going to say for this video. I've now ranked all the Beatles albums. That, that was very enjoyable to do. Um, and that, that's really all I'm going to say. Let's just, um, Let's just say our goodbyes now. Thank, thank you for watching this video. Um, and um, I definitely want to do some more Beatles videos as well. Um, this is this is not mainly what I do on my channel. In in case you have never really been here before, I mainly do stuff to do with movies and video games. But every now and then, I like to change up doing videos to do with music as well, um, and other miscellaneous things. But I hope you enjoyed this video as you enjoyed making it. It was definitely a lot a lot of fun doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Peace and love, and ciao.